What's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, so our group is tactfully slacked, um, and our app is a job search engine, pretty much base. It's based on your geolocation and Indeed. Um, I have Greg right here and Jeremiah. We worked really hard on this. That uh, Jeremiah had to end up in the hospital last week, so thank God he's here. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I, the reason why we wanted to make the app was uh, pretty much proximity. Uh, you know, I, as I said earlier before, I had a job really far away. It was our hour away, so this got me thinking. I wanted something close. Uh, you know, I use Monster, use Indeed, use all these job search apps, but I wasn't really getting what I wanted. I wanted something that I can visually see. I, I can go on Google and you know type in a company, but I'm not sure if they're um, you know hiring just because I needed. I would always have a Google app open or I would have an Indeed app open to just compare you know sides but you know you know we're all lazy so I want everything quick and I want everything fast so this was uh, this is what I was thinking I was I asked Ahmed two months ago I'm, I'm like uh, are we working on two APIs and he's like yeah this is a project we're gonna work on so so once he brought this project up you know this is automatically I knew what we were gonna do and then brought it to Greg and Jeremiah and they spent countless of hours just trying to figure out how we're, how we we're gonna do this and we had some you know issues looking for the correct API some issues trying to get uh, Google working, but somehow they pulled through and we uh, and we got it going. So Greg over here is gonna we're gonna talk about uh, you know running through the app, and then uh, Jeremiah we're gonna run some code. All right. All right. So within Reach is it's a one-page job search app based on job search location, geolocation, and we did the initial sketch for it in Balsamic. Uh, we use Bootstrap as the basic framework, HTML, CSS. Uh, JavaScript and jQuery for the coding of it. Um, the two APIs, as Jorge said, were uh, the Indeed Job Search API and the Google Maps API, and we incorporated Firebase in order to have um, saved searches. Okay, so this is this is going to be the home page. So there's two main ways to search on this home page. One is through the search box, and the other is through the recent job searches, and this is where Firebase comes in. Um, also, in the background, you'll see a map and this is set by your geolocation, or if geolocation is not enabled, it's set by default to New Brunswick. So if we do a basic search, also, also if we don't have a, um, any location set, it'll throw up an error message. So if we do a basic search, it'll come up, the first elements will disappear Again, this is a one-page app, so the first elements are there, but then they become hidden. Um, the map is centered to your geolocation. The markers drop. If you hover over the markers, it'll come up with the, the name of the job, the company, and a basic description of the job. And if you click on it, it will highlight the job search on the side and scroll to the top to let you know which one you're looking at. If you click on that job search, it'll bring you to the Indeed page so that you could apply for the job. Now on this actual page, we have a few other features. One is geolocation at the top again, and another search bar to perform another search. Um, we have pagination on the page, which we'll go through in a, in a list of uh, 10 jobs. And then each time you go through, it'll drop the new markers on the page for that job. Um, it'll list the amount of results on the top and the search term that you're currently looking for. So just to run through the code real quick, there's a few different things. Uh, we'll just go through the functions that build the biggest part of the site. Um, here is initially, we, in order to use the Google Maps, um, we had to sign up for an API key. This creates the map that um, eventually the rest of the data is going to uh, jump to. You have to put a center when you're creating the map initially. So we just have it initially set to New Brunswick, New Jersey, but then we overwrite it based on the search results anyway. This is just our map for the home page. Um, this is the save search Firebase data. Um, we are pushing every new search result and then reprinting it back out into the screen. There was a couple of tricky parts to this search. Um, because the Indeed API doesn't give you the latitude and longitude of the job until you get that specific job code. So what you have to do is you first have to submit the search um, 
for with well first of all we had to set up we had to get a publisher ID which we, we were able to get um, and then you submit your search information and based on those results within the results we had to submit another locate request in order to get the the latitude and longitude from that information then we created the markers for the map we created the info pop-up we created the listener so that when you hover on the uh, on the <coughs> excuse me the marker it shows the data that you want and also the click action that r scrolls it to that part of the screen um, the pagination was a bit of a pain because the search request for page two within their API is a different request than it is for page one, but the number is not something that you can just increment because it says for pay the first page you do limit equals 10, and for the second page you do and start equals 10. So you needed to increment the number by 10, but not the first or the second time. So there's a lot of if and else statements in there and um, the when the code is completely commented you'll be able to see where we're going with that type of stuff um, each of the clicks um, we're doing the same thing that a lot of other people are doing when you use in a single pap, uh, app we're hiding and showing specific uh, fields and divs and that's pretty much it this is the geolocation request um, from the browser in order to capture the um, zip code what we're actually doing is we send the request into the computer and then the response is a JSON just like it is with an API we look through the JSON to find the zip code and then we input the zip code into the um, location field uh, and that's pretty much it for the code was there anything else you guys wanted to say that you felt was fun Some future calls that we want are just more accuracy on the location. That's uh, that'll help a lot with. I mean, just with the longitude latitude, just made it a little tougher. But hopefully, you know, when we create our own API with a add our own database, or if we find someone that's more accurate, that hopefully uh, sooner or later you can, you know, determine how long it is from your house, or if you're looking for a specific location, you, you know, we get to determine. Uh, or we'll add some more reviews using Glassdoor, adding that in there. Um, some more functionalities. That's about it. But Hopefully we can take more, uh, you know, take it further than what it is now. That's about it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Thanks, thanks guys.